Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Happy Christmas Day for everyone. Merry Christmas. And, uh, well, there's a few problems that seem to be appearing this month after the patch Tuesday updates. It seems that it breaks a few things, and um, some users aren't very happy as we're looking at uh, some of the reported issues. Uh, it has been clear that, uh, well, yep, the uh, Windows 11 KB5048685 breaks for some the start menu. Uh, there are some uh, issues in the start menu since that update for some of the users. So uh, it seems that it also might be affecting 23H2 users with some bugs and problems, even though the um, update itself is a different KB version. So uh, this is unfortunately a, um, a problem. So there is apparently a fix with a... Um, a registry um, issue that you can actually use for a workaround. Also, uh, there's a problem that happens um, in uh, with the update that has a problem with the update, um, Windows update itself. It would seem that many are having issues with this update not installing, and it just stays and hangs there, and you could try every single little thing that you want to try to fix that update to have it install, and none of them work. So this is also an issue with this update. So at this time of writing, Microsoft has not acknowledged anything. Um, they're kind of staying mum. There's no, there's, you know, it's like they're, they're, I don't know, maybe on vacation now, and nobody's there to answer. Uh, but it is, you know, uh, clearly uh, some issues that need to be fixed. So uh, this is something that if you are having that issue, um, it is annoying. Um, and it is um, a, there's no real fix. Some users say that they have fixed it by simply reinstalling uh, Windows and that uh, it actually installed the update while the uh, new install happened. But you know, you don't want to necessarily reinstall Windows all the time. So these are a few of the problems that I've been seeing right now through Windows Update on Windows 11 24H2. But it seems that it could be affecting 23H2 also. So if any of you are having that problem, that issue of the update not installing and refusing to update, uh, let us know in the comments below and see if uh, what happens. And we'll, of course, be uh, checking out with the uh, holiday season going on right now. I don't expect Microsoft to answer very fast to anything for now. But it is uh, certainly some annoying times, uh, especially with the end of the year happening now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.